so Chris has taken his, uh, his measurements and he's gotten some stencils made of the original cabinet art that was on here that somebody else had already kind of half-assed ruined and painted this ridiculous speckly looking crap and they didn't finish their lines. That's actually like painter's tape that's still on there. Uh, anyway, he's gonna uh, do the original with a touch of his own flair all over it and make the whole damn thing a space theme behind it instead of being white. And it's gonna be f***ing gorgeous when he gets done with it. I probably don't need to cuss so much. This doesn't need to be an R-rated episode of the Cat Nurture Show. Family friendly. Family friendly. I'm gonna beep that one out with a Mario coin noise. Ka-ching! Ka-ching! Game plays really well. Uh, it was cleaned up and I bought, I actually traded for, um, I traded the one that I was thinking about turning into a He-Man machine for this. Cause I was sick of messing with that E-Man machine. I couldn't get it working. And I'm, you know, not the best at fixing EM stuff. So might as well trade it for one that is working and then spruce it up. And the reason I got this for the decent amount of trade was because of the horrible paint job that someone had done to it before my buddy fixed it. So that's where we're staying with this. It's day eight? No, day eight? Yeah, day eight of the Corona week. First Corona week of lockdown basically. And we haven't been locked down. Fuck it. What are we doing? <laughs> We're out here not locking it down. All right, we are still out here in the garage. We are working. We recapped both screens on the Play Choice 10 last night, and they look gorgeous now. There is some burn in on each of them, but once they get going, you, you can't see it. So uh, it's great. And they'll have, uh, there, there's this dark um, glass, tinted glass that goes in front of us. You'll never notice that. Uh, you will, however, notice how ugly this cabinet still is. We have done nothing to the cabinet yet. I'm just trying to get everything 100% working, and when I do, I will pull everything back out, and then we will rebuild the cabinet 100%. But what I'm doing right now, there's a light inside there because I was reaching around in there. Uh, I just took off the gun area holder. So the original owners of this Play Choice 10 at some point cut the gun off, or somebody stole it, cut it off, what have you. The uh, piece at the end here was cut 100% flat and it would not pull back through this hole so I just spent the last 10 minutes snipping and attempting to bend it and then finally hammering the nonsense out of it to flatten it back into a basic mushy circle and get it to pull through the hole and it finally extracted and to say all that is to say all this I have this panel from an old Hogan's Alley or a duck hunt possibly but I probably a Hogan's Alley may have been a play choice 10 with one of a you know a gun added to it it's missing the left controller someone had already taken that out of i got this at retro palooza last year and uh it has a black gun and has all the cabling and all the connectors here's the other end connectors these actually here on the inside of the cabinet there is a connector to accept these and this is uh, the original ones that were hanging and cut free from the other gun so somebody could remove the gun or whatever they did. So these I no longer need. I'll just take the whole assembly line through here and run it through there and plug it right in and it should turn on. It should, should be workable if the gun's working. Uh, we don't know, but it's also kind of dirty and gross. And again, I'm just getting everything wired up and making sure it works. 
There is some rubber missing off the top of this gun. I'm not exactly positive how to fix that or how to restore it, but uh, maybe with the whole tip of it is cracked here. There, there might be a, a way to peel this rubber off of here and re-rubberize the gun in some manner. There may be a way to seal what there is on here and add a little bit to it. Uh, maybe some epoxy or some resin or something that we can build up and, and build on there. Uh, I'd like to, you know, chrome the trigger back out or nickel plate it or something. But uh, I've always liked the black gun versus the orange gun because this is the first model and this is awesome looking. So we don't know if it works, but we've got all the parts to pull it out of here. Now it came with a holster as well, which I can sell this separately or keep it around for spare parts. But it has a holster on the gun on the building here or on the the building on the arcade machine here already and it's gross and dirty but it's three thousand times better looking than it was when i first got it. it was basically white when i first got this whole cabinet it was white with dirt and dust and grime and it was filthy and i, I plan on repainting the whole thing eventually you know i'm gonna pull all this stuff off and all both these doors are gonna get pulled and sandblasted and redone and rebuilt and put back together we're gonna pull this kick bar out of here we're gonna fill the holes on it it's got a third unnecessary hole up here above that that's something you know god knows what that somebody must have dug into it to unlock it or to break into it at some point there's a wacky screw just holding that thing in there that doesn't belong there but the game machine does work 100 percent and it looks great uh, except for the the body of it is just hideous can i rebuild this whole corner i mean yes and scary is part two of the answer to that we need to get some wood hardener we're gonna need to get some new veneer. Like this is a full on project to do a 100% restoration on it. And uh, this is a machine that I plan on keeping. I like to I like to keep the things that it takes me the longest to work on. So I, I save big projects for a while and I get around to doing them eventually. And right now I'm up and running on this one. So what we're gonna do here is unfasten the rest of these bolts that are holding the gun in place here. I already took one off and uh, working on, actually I got the second one loose here. And we're gonna take the rest of these four off and pull the cord. Th these actually unscrew and this thing will spread open a little bit and you can pop the cable back through it. And then that's gonna be, I'm gonna use this plate, the one that came with this gun. Actually, yeah, I, I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe I'll use that one. This one, this one was the one that was on the machine, but I think that's the exact same thing and uh, maybe a little bit different shape, but at least width wise, but either one. Now I've got some extra bolts too. It was missing two of the top bolts. So we've got some extra bolts that are coming through right here. There's one there. And uh, so now we can do that and clean those up and paint them black and get them all nice and good, good looking again. But that's what we're doing out here in the garage today. It's a lovely, beautiful day. There's the wild cycle it's pulled out. Tempest eventually is gonna, we're gonna get around to you, buddy. We are going to get over to you. Robocop works. Jungle King uh, is playing blind still. I recapped it and it's still playing blind, so I'm not sure. It might be power supply issue. I need to get a new power supply. Uh, that Crystal Castle works. I'm, I'm running out of projects. Arkanoid's up and running. Super Cobra needs new ROM set, but it's up and running as well. It'll boot the game. It just looks like garbage, so I think the ROMs are bad. Uh, Miss Pac-Man needs its... This Pac-Man's over here, and it needs uh, needs monitor recap on it. It's playing blind as well, as far as I know. Asteroids, I'm waiting on the other side of the side art to come in. I messed up when I put on the original one, and it looked bad, and I got mad, and I just ripped it off, so I'm, I had to order another set. And I still haven't capped it, but I'm not sure if capping it is going to be needed now that I've been doing some more research on because the spot killer's on. So if the spot killer's on, that means it's not getting the right power supply, so I need new power supplies for it, too, so we might get a new power supply for it. Haven't done it yet. It's just a magnet. Oh, and this is a Pac Mania, but it works 100%. Uh, it could stand a cap job too. Uh, I haven't gotten around to it. But this side of the room is almost done. All these projects are almost finished, and it's time to start selling things and get more stuff to play with. Hooray! Uh, we will we will show you the progress of this as we get it going.
I mean, they're all different prices. Uh, right now, I've only got two real pinball machines left for sale. One is from 1967. Uh, it's an older, you know, the, the ping dong kind, like bells and chimes, no, no, uh, no computers in it. Yeah. But we did a custom paint job to it, uh, as well as the other one that I've got. Um, it's like a space theme. I can show you some pictures. Right now, I'm hanging off the pecker of a statue of Zeus. Oh, that's his balls. Oh, let's crawl on up. Hey, hey, we're gonna go up his belly. This is, this is too much. In fact, when I first climbed over there, he said I probably should not climb on this. But you know what? We had to do it. We got to go up here and synchronize the town off the shoulder of Zeus. This is ridiculous. Look at this guy's outfit. Mm -hmm. That's like a homie. <laughs> For the homie, <laughs> gotta pour one out. <laughs>